Good evening and welcome to Let's Travel Caribbean for this week. Is a bartender of three years at the Cliff Hotel in Negril who has his sights set on a brand new role. Let's hear a little bit more about a man on a mission. My name is Adrian Johnson. I'm a bartender at the Cliff Hotel and Spa in Western Negril. I did business in school. I would say that I was chosen by the industry. In 1999, I was chosen as a bar porter at the Ritz Cafe. Being at the Ritz Cafe, I watched how the bartenders were. It was buzzing. It was just happy. And I said, I want to do that. I worked, I worked, and then moved up to a bartender. So I did five years at Ritz Cafe as a bartender, making drinks missing cocktails, interacting with people, dancing, jumping. It was just fun. How I was chosen, when I left school, my neighbor at the time asked, are you working? And I said, no, I'm looking for a job. And she actually brought me to Rick's Cafe and introduced me to the general manager and said, this young man, I know him very well. He is very disciplined. I would mind if you could give him a job for me. And that's how it all started. So I graduated from Peter's Peel Comprehensive High School. So while I was at Rick's Cafe, I worked for five years. I wanted to try something else because I gained some experience in bartending. I always like to push myself. In 2003, I resigned from working at Rock Hotel. Here I worked for 14 years, interchanging between bartender and waiter. I learned waitering at Rock House. While I was at Rock House, in 2014, I entered the taste of the Jamaica competition in the bartending segment. I won that competition, bartender of the year. The next year, I went to Miami and represented Jamaica in a bartending competition. Here I got silver medal. The following year, I think it's 2015 this time, I also went back to the Taste of the Jamaica competition, which is held at the convention center in Montego Bay. I won that competition again in the bartending segment. The following year, I went back to Miami and represented Jamaica in the bartending segment again. Got another silver medal. So when I started at Rock House in 2003, I actually started as a food runner. A runner is someone that takes the tray from the kitchen to the restaurant with food. You also have to bus tables and bring the empty place to the kitchen. I spent about a year and a half to two years as a food runner, then transitioned into being a waiter. In that same period of time, I was in and out of the bar because I have a lot of bar experience. So I was doing bartending. Some days I would do food runner and then I would transition into being a wait staff where I would wait and guests take orders, place orders and such. The best thing about my job is making people happy. You see the thing with this industry, if you are not a people person, it won't work for you. So there has to be sympathy, empathy. You have to have a personality for it. Everything else is trainable, but you cannot train personality. So if you don't have a personality for the tourism industry, it will not work for you. So in my role as a bartender at the Cliff Hotel, the biggest challenge would be trying to understand different customers because everyone has a different personality. Some persons come to the bar because they're upset. Some come because they have, they're have angry. Some just come for a drink. Some just come to talk. The, the onus is on you to read and know when that person wants to talk and when that person wants to be left alone. One of the good things about being a bartender is that you're a psychologist, you're a therapist, you're a friend, where you're someone that they take out their frustration on. I don't know how to put it. You're everything. If a, a husband is having challenges with his wife, he, he's going to come and have a few drinks and sit and talk. You just have to understand that everything someone tells you while you're on the job at the bar is confidential because they're not expecting you to go and say to anybody else. They come because they need to vent and you are the perfect person for them to vent to. In the next three to five years, I want to see myself move from a bartender to a personal butler. For me, being a butler is the next tier of 
service. It is classy, it is prestigious, it is luxurious, and I am challenging myself to move forward in that field. I have already gone through the test to get a little certificate that um, Adrian Johnson has completed a course in butler service. I am so proud of that. In the next three to five years, I am seeing myself as a personal butler providing that tier of luxury and excellent service to my client. So what will make me excel is personality, discipline, sympathy, empathy. You have to have all of those to make it work in the industry because you're going to meet people of all different personalities. Some persons are not going to like you just because of who they are. Some persons are going to love you because of who they are. And you have to understand that and do not take it personal. It's just part of the business. It's part of the game. When you're at work, you're on show. Put on your best face and do your job with professionalism. That takes us to the end of Tourism Spotlight and Let's Travel Caribbean for this week. Go check out the Cliff Hotel the next time you're out west. Join me again same time, same place next week as we bring you more happenings and highlights in the tourism sector on Let's Travel Caribbean. I'm Stacey Ann Delavante.